Did you brush your teeth? Did you go potty? All right, let's get started. Chapter one, story one. Stick people. It's a good thing your body has bones inside it, or you wouldn't be able to sit, stand, or do cartwheels. You just collapse to the floor like a melted marshmallow. Thankfully, your body has over two hundred bones, and they don't just hold you up. The biggest bone of all is in the top half of your leg, called the femur, which does hold you up. But the teeniest bones in your body, the hammer, anvil, and stirrup inside your ear, actually help you hear. We're lucky that each bone does its own thing. Otherwise, you might have to walk on your own fingers or write with your nose. All right, wee ones, this is the question for you. Each of your fingers has three bones, but each toe has only two. Which one has more bones, your finger or your toe? All right, the answer for we ones was your finger. All right, little kids, this is the question for you. You were born without real kneecaps. They start out mushy and don't harden until age four or five. If you have three babies and two grown-ups in the room, how many real kneecaps are there? Each person has two legs, but only some kneecaps count. The little kid's answer was four kneecaps. All right, big kids, this is the question for you. Your thumb is actually your longest finger. It has three bones like the others, but the third bone is hidden in your hand. How many bones do your five fingers on one hand have in total? The answer for big kids was fifteen bones. All right, here's the bonus question. We're all born with more bones than we end up with. Since many bones grow together over time, if you started with three hundred fifty bones and now have two hundred six, how many more did you start with? The answer for the bonus question. Was one hundred forty-four more bones. How'd you do? If you didn't get it right, that's okay. If you need help, ask a grown-up so you can solve it together. Good job and good night.